Hi, my name is Rory Griffin. My call sign is W4RJG, and I live in South Boston, Virginia. Today for EDM, I'm going to be going through the HFPDP call-up using Varric, and specifically today, the broadcast feature. This is a continuing presentation of a design to facilitate fast and direct emergency operations center and field station communication. So let's start a screen sharing. So, going forward, what is Varric Broadcast? First, we're going to tell you what it's not. It is not using the VARA modem communication. Varric has always been using the VARA modem, a few other programs as well, and it's a really great modem to use. Very secure, very solid. Varric Broadcast, however, is a transmission that uses the AX.25 protocol. It is an old protocol, and for those who have been around in the IT world from a few decades ago when we had dial-up lines and such, it's a protocol that started off as X.25. But for us, with the AX.25, it allows any other enable station to listen to the transmissions without restriction. The Varric Broadcast feature is designed for fast information flow without the usual Varric modem protocol to ensure a solid connection. In broadcast, there is no protect connection. To give it a similar way, view it like this, you're going to go outside, you're building home, whatever, just stand around somewhere, and others might be there to hear you. You just want everyone to hear what you have to say, so you just shout it out and to no one in particular. Everyone is there, who chooses to can hear it, and they all can ignore it or respond. It's their choice. You have no in- initial confirmation that anyone did hear it, though. Now, you know John and Mary are out there, so you you call out, hey, John, hey, Mary, and now only a John or Mary will answer. Varric broadcast is like that. When you send a broadcast, everyone who hears your transmission on that frequency will see the text in your broadcast message received window. Unless you override it, all is the designated receiver, that general shout out. If you override all in the two box, everyone will still hear it. But like our John and Mary scenario, everyone can ignore it, and your two station knows it is directly for them, even though everyone sees it, the theme. So since it is simple to use the AX.25 protocol, the warning is that there is no security. Remember, everyone can hear it and others can get involved and you can't stop them either. So going forward, by adding the use of alert tags, this can be useful for groups and can try to eliminate some of that unwanted interaction. Although to be honest, it really doesn't happen. Just want you to be aware of that. Now, we presented the alert tags in our second training of video, and there's the link. The call-up process in our upcoming exercise will use the broadcast and alert tags. To broadcast a message, find the broadcast button. It's about the center along the right side of the program's window. It'll bring up a pop-up window when you click on it labeled broadcast message. Notice the all designation in the toolbox. This signals all other operators who see your message can consider your message might be relevant for them. Then there is the message box. It's limited to 91 characters. Now, for the alert tags, that's where you put them, in that message box. And to ensure the alert tag use, you can place it anywhere in the message. Send, quote, EDM test, unquote, with the EDM test being the alert tag. It'll find it. Or I can send, quote, this is an... EDM test, only for EDM, unquote. The tag EDM test will still be flagged because the alert tag searching doesn't care where in the message it is. It's just looking for that particular tag. After you place a call sign and only one call sign in the toolbox if you need it, and then you complete your message entry, you now have a choice. To broadcast, which keeps the broadcast message box open after you send the message, or Broadcast and close, and yep, it sends out your message and closes the broadcast box. This is pretty simple, isn't it? The message only goes out when it sees a clear frequency, but it doesn't wait as long as beacons. That is because AX.25 is a quick in and out. On the other hand, it has less guarantee than other stations that hear you. If you do not get responses, send the broadcast message again, as often as you need. And with some delay, though, in between transmissions, especially if that particular frequency is a little busy with traffic other than yours. The broadcast messages received appear in the window pane above the Varric message activity window pane. 
It provides the band time and from and to signal noise report as well, a new feature. The messages are in a scrollable window. So as the new messages come in, all the ones roll off the top. So just go over to the left and the up and down slider to get back to the ones you missed. You can also expand the broadcast pane to push the chat activity pane down. This will show more broadcast messages at once. If that's your main focus at the time, this is a great feature to have. You can go to the three dots between each pane, and it's in the middle of both panes. Just left-click and drag them down. That's it. It's very simple. And always remember, anyone can hear you. It has zero privacy. The rest of Varric AC, however, is secured, just so you're reminded about that. And another way to see that is that Varric uses the Varric protocol. It provides a P2P connection, peer-to-peer, one-to-one, and only one. Messages in Vmail are protected. Broadcast uses AX.25. It is not peer-to-peer. It is peer, you, to anyone who can hear you, and they can respond back with the same open-ended ability for everyone else to hear and to see. Usually, of course, MCOM wants the privacy, but a call-up is not requiring privacy. That is why EDM exercises will use broadcast for its simplicity and ability to gather stations relating to you. In our case, it will usually include the tag EDM. So for any comments, questions you have about this, please just send a message out in the groups I owe. There's our little link there. Or respond in a comment section below this video. To complete this training, please watch our third training video. This gives you the various parts of Varric AC used in a call-up process. It's a live recording for you. And there you go. It's in the YouTube EDM group. To get specifically for the broadcast and alert tags, start with timestamp 410 to 645. And from there, everything we want you to know to use and recommend that you use is right there. And of course, the complete video is just a wonderful refresher anyway. So we want to thank all of you for listening with us, learning with us, watching with us. And bring this capability to your income group, expanding your communication capabilities and methods. That is why EDM exists. It's not for you to follow our exercises, but to learn what you learn through us and bring that to your group. And that will help your group become even better. And all of this is to support the amateur radio MCOM community of any and all organizations. So we wish you a great day, a wonderful experience in time, and 73 to all. <laughs>